everyone and welcome to the Centre Parks vlog. I am more than excited for this vlog because it's just going to be good vibes. Me and one of my really good friends Beth have come with both of our babies so Elsie and George and we are just so excited to take them swimming, have a little relaxed, chilled break and it's just us four. Like it's going to be so good but currently we are in the queue for like the check-in thing i actually took us both the wrong way and then the security guard called me crazy and i was like do you know what i'll take it and then i had to be like oh my friend i've also like made her go the wrong way <laughs> but anyway yeah we're just in the queue waiting to check in oh we're just in the queue waiting to check into our lodge there's quite a lot of cars in front of us i can't lie but it'll be fine i'm sure we will get there soon we can't really check into our lodge until four and it's currently half three so do you know what if we're sat in here for a little while it doesn't matter the only thing i am worried about is elsie i heard her feeling their nappy and that was about 10 minutes ago so i'm a bit worried that she's gonna scream because she wants her nappy changing but there's nowhere i can pull over or do it or anything like that until we're through this little bit but yeah we're in the middle of the forest um, we have come to Elverdon because it's the closest one to us and I've also been here before with like my parents when I was a lot younger so it's going to be very nostalgic. Good morning and welcome to Centre Parks day one, the first full day. I've got Elsie here chilling with me. Haven't I? <laughs> Are you having a good morning so far? We've just FaceTimed Charlie so that she can obviously speak and listen to him and... You were loving it, weren't you? You were smiling. So she actually did wake up at 6am, which isn't usual for Elsie. But I think we might be going into the four month sleep regression. I feel very far away from the camera. I might come a bit closer. As I said, I think we might be hitting the four month sleep regression because her sleeping pattern has just changed so, so much. Whoa. Um, and she woke up at 6am this morning but I managed to get her back to sleep. I honestly don't know how because when we've been at home and she's woken up this early she just like lies there and is so chatty. But anyway she woke up and then I think she woke up at about half past eight maybe quarter to nine. I definitely woke up before you though and it was so good. Such a good first night although if you come into centre parts with a baby i'd bring your own travel cot because that travel cot is so hard like the mattress is so so hard that i've actually had to put in sofa cushions now it's as safe as it can be ideally i wouldn't want to do that but she doesn't roll or anything yet um because no it just she just wouldn't sleep if it the mattress was left there like it's rock solid i don't understand like, i don't even think a fox would sleep on it do you know what i mean why, why did I say fox? I don't know. There's somebody running. I wish I could be that, um, do you want to look at the runner? Say hi. Um, I wish I could be that athletic at 9am in the morning. But anyway, I think this morning we're going to go swimming. We went swimming last night, like a bit of late night swimming so that the babies could get introduced to the water with it being a bit more quiet. But we're going to go this morning as well, aren't we? And... We need to go say hi to Beth and George. We're here with our friends Beth and George, by the way, if I haven't said, and we're very excited. This is the room. So I got the uh, double bed. Beth actually wanted the twin one. So we're all winning. Here, aren't we? Yeah, it was, it did look semi-organized until I've just looked at it through the camera. And then in here, I'm doing this one-handed, by the way. In here is like all of her clothes. I bring them on her hangers, top tip, guys. Just saves like, I don't know, it just feels a lot more organised and then I've got like jeans and stuff down there and nappies and wipes and then I'll show you what I mean by her travel cot. So I just put her right at this end and she obviously didn't move at all because she can't move but like we had to put down two, like you can see the crease there, we had to put down two sofa pillows because it's rock solid. Anyway we are gonna go and see beth and george i need to pump again and we're gonna have a great day aren't we elsie <laughs> bless her babies are in their little makeshift playpen oh look at him so this is the view from our lodge 
babies are doing a bit of wildlife watching. I am gonna pump, we've got some tunes on here. Right, I am gonna get Elsie ready for swimming. We're gonna pack her bag. She is still just chilling, aren't you? I'm gonna get our swimming stuff all together. So I think I'm just gonna wear the same one that I wore yesterday because it makes me feel good, keeps it all in place. George isn't very happy. Just shut the door on your bed. <laughs> he's just getting cleaned up because um, George is like eight months, so he's doing like baby led weaning and all that. So he best got to like faff around with making him food and stuff, which I'm so glad I don't have to do, to be honest. Like, obviously, our time will come, Elsie, but I'm kind of glad we don't have to do it for now. Anyway, I'm literally crouching because I couldn't find anywhere to put the camera. So, yeah, I'm going to pack my black swimming cosy, co cosy? costume, whatever I want to say. Um, this little reusable swimming nappy. A lot of people have asked what we use at the swimming pool. We use reusables. I also have these two here, but maybe I'll take an extra one just in case. And then um, I'm going to give her this swimming costume today because it's like a two-piece smells at the swimming pool um but it's just better i find i know i can kneel oh great <laughs> um it's just better i find because yesterday we used one of the like all-in-ones and it was so hard to get off her after we've been in the pool and yeah it's just a bit of a nightmare so that's that i think i am gonna pop on these trousers that beth gave me because i made the mistake of um only bringing leggings or jeans or one pair of joggers with me and the one pair of joggers i wore yesterday so i could wear them again but i just don't really have anything to go with them because they're in a matching set but then i stained the top part so yeah i think i'm going to try on that thing that beth gave me maybe just with like a vest or something I mean, we're coming straight back to the lodge after swimming, so it's not a big deal. And then we're gonna actually like get ready for the day. I just feel like that's a good idea. Also, it's very sunny today, so it's a good day to go on like a woodland walk. Everyone asks me like, is it stressful going swimming with a baby? And I would say like, not really, if you're prepared. I've just remembered, I need in here, I have her swimming towel. Definitely invest in one of these. I mean, buy invest. I went on Vinted. I think it cost me about five pound, including shipping. Um, they also had loads of these. So if you do actually like this one, it's from Next on Vinted. They had loads. When I ordered this one, loads of other ones popped up. So I'm gonna get changed, put my swimming costume on underneath because that is always a top tip, isn't it? Regardless of having a baby. And then I think we're gonna try and attempt to leave. Leaving like anywhere with a baby just takes 10 times longer. We are currently walking to like the plaza bit, which is the plaza bit is basically where like all the swimming and the good stuff is. There is a car coming, do not want to get in the way. Um, but yeah, we're gonna take them swimming now. They enjoyed it yesterday, but both of them I'm pretty sure are tired, so we're gonna see how this goes. At least they get a little rest in the car and then. Not in the car, what am I even talking about? Do you know what? Mum, baby brain, mum brain is a real thing. Um, at least they get a little rest in the pram. Elsie is currently just lying back chilling and very excited to take them swimming. Swimming has completely worn her out. She's like drifting off to sleep. Are you okay, baby? I've just popped her on my jumper. I think we're gonna try and get out of here ASAP, but I still need to get ready. Um, floats down here. Bags up here, right. We've got all dressed, ignore the baby carrier situation on me, I just couldn't be bothered to put it on twice. Anyway, we have now had to move our cars because this man <laughs> came, it was actually pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie, well, there's a lot of bumps in this car park. Um, this man came knocking on our door and was like, you need to move your cars because they're not allowed to be parked there, but nobody had told us we weren't allowed to park there and the babies were asleep so we were like okay well we've got two little babies like they're gonna have to come in the car with us it's not easy for us to just like put the car in a car park far away and then basically we just got really anxious because we were like oh my god are they gonna come back then they looked like they were coming back and i was like right let's just shove the pram outside the door so it looks like we're leaving and obviously our intention was to do what they said but when you have a baby you don't want to wake him up from a nap that's like a big no-no and now we're going around the car park and I actually haven't seen a space yet. 
which is great. So, unless I go there, that's not a space, is it? Where's Beth? I'm gonna ring Beth, one second. Ringing. Hang on. Hiya. Wait, hello. Have you got a space? Uh, where are you? Well, I'm right by the welcome centre. I found a space. Um, no, I'm, I haven't yet, but I'll try. Which section are you in? Oh, I'm in one of the first sections, but I'm like nearer the bit where like everything is, if you know what I mean. Yeah, but like what animal? Animal, maybe like badger? Okay, just hang on. I'm currently going down um, the bottom of rabbit and I'll try and be try and get space down the bottom there yeah go towards the bottom because at least that's less far to walk we have moved our cars that's all sorted we don't have to worry about that yeah i did about the car situation not the best anyway now elsie's in her baby carrier but i have actually also brought the pram because i don't know i just feel like sometimes she likes being in the baby carrier and sometimes she just not sometimes she likes being held but not held close to me because she wants to like see like you'll see that she pushes her head back because she wants to like look around and whatnot when i'm walking towards the like plaza bit which has like certain stuff we're basically just gonna go on a nice little walk and have a look around just having a look around the shop now oh look beth's over there george oh that's quite christmasy oh he's in the sale Hello everyone and welcome to Centre Park's day two. I'm literally just going past like the go ape really big, I don't know. I would not do it because it just gives me anxiety. Like, can you see that? I, there is just no way. I would do the zip wire bit. Oh, Elsie's complaining. I'd do the zip wire bit, just not like the whole walking over balance beams and rubbish. Like, that just isn't really my kind of thing oh we've got to keep the pram moving anyway no that is not for me that no i, I said i would do the zip wire but i would not do that high no. bit no um anyway we're going pottery painting which we're very excited about gonna make a few things um obviously the babies they're limited of what they can do but um we are very excited and that's the plan Wow. Ah. Do you want to do some painting? Yeah. Oh, mummy just put her hand in there. Ready? Paint. Yay. Oh. <laughs> Ready? Ah! Paint! <laughs> Go! Yay! She is literally so asleep. Is she? Yeah. He was, and then I disturbed him, didn't I? Yeah. Hey, George! It was the foot. It's because he's got two fish feet. The hands, oh. he didn't even remotely wake up. There we go. Oh, no. So, She's awake. Who else? Elsie's little footprint. <gasps> Did we do it on your feet? There, there we go. Did. Right, and then I'm just going to ride on it. Right, we are just walking to Beth's car because she left her bag, um, like her bag with some stuff in it, in there from earlier. So that's what we're doing. We're going to get her bag now. It's kind of annoying because the car park is such a trek away so we've like walked past all the swimming pool all the plaza and all of that i think i might actually try and take some videos of elsie on the wrong camera because you guys haven't actually seen like her in the pool um just because we haven't been able to get a clip of it so i might take my big camera in and just risk it <laughs> missy did not end up having a nap so i'm gonna hope that she doesn't get overtired in the pool are we going swimming? You're not going to scream at mummy, are you? Nope. Right, let's go. Elsie is in the pool. Love it. Hello. 
love in her life. It's very um, steamy because it's a bit hot. Do you want to say cheese? <laughs> wow! Wow! wow. <laughs> George just pops in. Day three, we are at the Pancake House. Beth took George to like a baby sensory this morning. She was made to sing. <laughs> anyway, um, Elsie's in her pram. I'm like, this is such mum life having to do all of this jazz. And then look, this is the uh, menu in the Pancake House. I have gone for the New Yorker, the big one, obviously. But I was thinking about like chocolate, but then I was like, there. I don't know. They have like, it, some of this is a bit weird, like all day breakfast. Oh no. For everyone that says I have an easy baby, she avoids going for naps. Oh, someone's birthday. Come on. Look, this is my pancakes. I got the um, New Yorker. They look actually so good. They're definitely going to be filling. And um, best look. <laughs> I wouldn't eat it, but what the fuck is that? You like egg and stuff, don't I'm you? I'm not sure I can eat that. I'm sure, I'm sure it tastes better I than it really looks. Judging. It doesn't look the most appealing, but I'm sure it looks better like than that, it. That bit of sausage. Like, if you close your eyes and put, do you know what I mean? Also, George is fast asleep. He's been fast asleep the whole time. Um, my child, on the other hand, is just chilling. Hello everyone, we have now finished at the pancake place and we're on a little walk and we're going to go try and find the tree houses but we're not too sure where they are. I just have a feeling they're this way. Sometimes my feelings are wrong, sometimes they're right. Elsie is just in her pram all cosy. She was uh, asleep and then she woke up so that's all good. Well I just remember them being down here one time. Like remember them or think? Well, I think. I reckon they're down that way. This morning I woke up and I was like, why does Elsie look so big? Like, I feel like we're going to go back home to Charlie because obviously he didn't come on this trip. Oh, there's a car. I feel like we're going to come back to Charlie and... What? Oh, we can look on the map. Um, and it's going to be like, whoa, she's grown so much. Like, she is so much better at sitting now. Um, obviously so aided and whatever she only just turned four months but yeah she's just growing up so fast okay there's a map here so maybe we'll be able to look at where we're going um, does it not have a bit that says you are here no oh that's not helpful Birch. we're in Birch. Um, Birch 444 is, is this the tree houses probably these little things um can you see the tree house we're definitely going the right way where's the tree houses on there well i think it is that because sure why would you have four random lo big lodges you wouldn't so i think it is that but it's, that it's not like on there no because it's not like an attraction do you know what i mean yeah i guess all right then Okay, well, we think we're going the right way, which is good. But I don't really understand where we go from here. Do we need to go down more? I think we need to go more away, don't we? Yeah, I do think... Because we need to get away. to Pine. No, because we're just going like that. Um, you see? So we need to go across. And we need oh. to go... It's all right, we'll find one up there. I think if we go up there and left... Guys, I feel like... On this trip, I'm definitely the uh, navigator. Beth's like, are we going the right way? Are we going the right way? We walk the same way every single day. What? Oh, yeah. Maybe that's a good idea. Oh, there's a deer over there. I literally love centre parts. My battery is flashing. So if you don't hear from me in a while, that'll be why. Um, oh, God. Oh, I think we're lost.
day and I'm not gonna lie, check out, it's just like a stressful experience. Um, top tip, if you come into centre parks, you can, the night before, you can bring your car after 4 p.m. for an hour to pack your car and then you can take it back to the car park and then in the morning you don't have the stress of it. We didn't realise that, I literally read it this morning, I should have read it last night, but anyway, it is what it is. I've gone and got the car this morning and packed it all, but one thing about me, I don't know if this is like, a common thing i feel like this is a common thing but um hello <laughs> um i always strip the bed sheets when i leave i don't know why i just feel like it really helps the cleaners and the stuff i know it's not their, like I, I know some people would like oh it's not their job but i don't know it's just nice to help people sometimes isn't it so oh and it means that you find hair bands and a sleep suit which i wouldn't have found now that is good karma because i would have just if like, i was any ordinary person that wouldn't do this um i would have left this behind so i fully believe in good karma guys i believe if you're positive and nice to other people then uh like it sounds like such like rubbish when you say it to people that don't like thinking but I actually believe if you do nice things, then nice things will come back to you. Like, just really in simplistic form. Like, not like there's any higher God or anything like that. I honestly just believe. Like, just be nice. So, now I need to do this. This is the worst one, isn't it? If you ever want to know the cons of having an Audi A1, which is, like, just really small, for those of you that are wondering, because I know nothing about cars, so... <laughs> um, yeah, this is it. Like... This looks awful, but I don't even think it could look any better. We've got like a bath there. Um, it is just such a mess. And then in the boot, because you can't fit that much in. So in the boot. I mean, I'm actually impressed with that. I've got the pram, like a little bouncer and her, what's that called? Um, <laughs> change of mat. Oh my goodness. Honestly, I'm the worst for forgetting stuff. Not gonna lie, Elsie's gone to sleep in the car. Obviously, it's right there, and I've locked it, and I just keep on going back and forth. But George is still in his cot asleep, and it's just so hard doing timings with all of the babies. Like, ideally, I would be leaving now to go to because we're gonna go to Berry um, on our way back. But ideally, I would be leaving now so that she doesn't wake up and want to feed. But obviously, we need to wait for George and that. It's just a logistical a bit of a nightmare like you think like going away with two babies would actually make it easier and, and in parts it does because you understand like Elsie will need a feed or George can't do this because he needs a nap blah 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 but when their schedules are off it is honestly not good anyway yeah George is asleep and he's in a travel cot that Beth needs to put in her car so I'm gonna help her put her travel cot and George in her car and then we're gonna try leave but I just want to do it ASAP because if Elsie wakes up and needs a feed then we're just never gonna leave it'll be like a rolling cycle because then she'll want a nappy change and I'd just rather get to the next place and deal with that um I mean you mums will relate to that I think because I feel like it's just part of having a baby but it definitely um isn't the vibe sometimes we have remembered everything you know when you feel like you've forgotten something Hello everyone i come at you far less stressed but i am also in like the slowest queue ever around the like center parks bit which is fine because it's to be expected but um yeah i just come thought i'd come on here and chat about our stay i have really enjoyed it it's been great but it's been tiring and i feel like that's not something i quite I got my head around i need to drop this back in the box at some point i can't really find it yeah it's something that is quite hard because it's like usually you're used to going somewhere for a break like you pay to go somewhere relaxing for a break and here is could be really relaxing but when you have a baby um the mum stuff that you have to do you still have to do obviously when you go away and if anything it was harder because i don't have charlie here and we parent pretty equally so i was doing like a hundred percent now i'm used to having i'm used to having elsie during the day and i'm used to taking her out a lot of people say like how do you take her out i'm not confident enough to take my baby out on my own it's something i'm so used to now because i don't know how like i feel like with practice it gets easier i really feel like if you do it a few times like sometimes it's an absolute shit show i'm not even joking sometimes it's like i never want to leave the house again but the majority of the time it's actually 
quite fun and like nice anyway more to the point obviously charlie wasn't here and regardless of whether we've missed him just parenting's a lot harder when you don't have your significant other and then it made me think like single mums do this like every day day in day out and honestly hats off to them because i couldn't do it with a baby like i don't know what it would be like parenting when i'm a bit older maybe then it's easier but i don't know anyway it has been really good but obviously i miss charlie and parenting is hard <laughs> I just want to keep it real with you guys. There's a lot of memories that have been made which have been amazing. And obviously having Beth and George is a lot better because they're babies. Like they want to do the same thing. They like playing with the same stuff. The only difference is George is on the move. Like I'm talking crawling, getting round, like grabbing things. <sighs> She's just woken up which is not good because it's 20, 26 minutes to bury from here and we're still in a queue and i know that she wants a feed after she wakes up so i'm in for a great time i'm in for maybe a screaming baby at some point but hopefully not not gonna put that into the universe like i was saying it's been lovely but george and elsie are at slightly different stages they don't look like they are like if you were to look at both of them set up they look pretty similar sizes just because george was premature so he's on the smaller side and elsie's on the larger side <laughs> she's not really she's like on the 75th percentile which is like nearly average um but yeah it's funny because george can obviously do so much more he's four months older and elsie's just sat there like a little potato just watching but not gonna lie spending time with beth has made me appreciate the little potato moment because sometimes they're like oh i can't wait till she can walk oh i can't wait till this i can't wait till that but like it only gets harder like beth is having to do baby led weaning she's having to think about like when he's going to have his meals she's having to clean up the meals like she's having to watch the baby constantly and all he wants to do is be on the move so then he's complaining when he can't do that anyway bless his heart it's not their fault is it Ed, we're off to bury st edmunds which is a place i don't often go to because it's not that near home anymore but when i used to live in like a little village i don't know why but i just don't feel comfortable saying where i used to live i think we have to put our wristbands in these little things i think i have to get out of the car oh my goodness yeah i don't know why but i just don't feel comfortable saying where i used to live even though i don't live there i don't know anyway yeah where we used to live used to be nearer to Berry, and i used to go for like swimming lessons and stuff and i actually think it's a really nice place so we're gonna go there for like some lunch maybe to a pub um oh i need to post my wristband and we're back right right now we're actually leaving center parts yeah not too sure where we're gonna go but I do want to have a look around the baby shops. Not to actually buy anything, I just really like looking. Maybe buy something, I don't know. I'm really trying to quit my spending because, I don't know, so now like I've discovered Vinted, which I discovered when I was pregnant, and it's so good for baby clothes. It's like, why would you buy anything new? Like, I literally think, why would you buy anything new? Like, everything is pretty much, like, if you look for it, everything is pretty much tip top condition tip top condition is that even a thing so sometimes when i see something in the shop i like i will then go on vintage and find it do that all the time with next because next is expensive and if i spent all of the money that i wanted to in next i would be broke so there we go little mum hack i feel like all the mums now know vintage 